Part 4. Paint Analysis by FTIR ATR. What you can see here um, has been shown in one of the previous videos, but what we have in front of us is the FTIR microscope on the left hand side and the ATR component on the right hand side, so that would be the flat component on the side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use this ATR to analyse a paint fragment. So instead of doing the preparation for cross-section, we're just going to use the paint sample as is without any prior preparation. Now what you'll see here is the ATR with the diamond right in the middle. First, we will run a background so that we can eliminate that later. So it basically takes in the air component and it will eliminate it from uh, your actual FTR spectrum. So we will take one of the paint chips or fragments and we will place it on top of the diamond ATR, making sure that it's right in the middle. We will then take the uh, pressure gauge um, we will push that down to a certain point which will be identified on the screen that I have uh, mildly forgotten to show you. Then we will press the green button again and what we will find is that we will have the FTIR spectrum as you've seen prior. Um, in this software what we can do is we can mark each of the peaks with the appropriate wave numbers so that when we do print it we can identify each of the peaks, the wave numbers and then go on to identify functional groups and perhaps compounds.